conversely, I witness all dead forms, dead human bodies, the corpses of animals, non-functioning broken forms, even material as mundane as worn out scissors, furniture, sucked back into the crucible of the source. Floating up within these same rays, which are giving all new forms and all new life to creation. Mm -hmm. All this worn out stuff mm -hmm. recycled back into the crucible of the source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I witnessed it all go up and all come down. Oh, yeah. Um, the lower jaw of my light body drop down in awe. I witnessed the engine room of the universe visually it's all visual i witness i see it with my own eyes the engine room of the universe operating in full mode operation <sighs> profound absolute visual epiphany Yeah, I've watched the whole process of creation and destruction of all material forms and living forms. Mm -hmm. Without warning, my body is sucked inside the source, the vast source, and I lose my identity. I become formless in the black void within the source of creation and destruction. No more human body for me. No earth body, no, <laughs> no light body. A formless, non forticating awareness is all that is left of me. And that's not much. This takes getting used to. Having your own eyes, hands, human body. It's a hard habit to break all of a sudden. Good thing I'm a natural born explorer freak on earth as well as in subliminal, subtle plane spaces. Because uh, what's that? What is that? I hear Omar in this formless black void. I hear Omar. Uh, if I'd had an ear to to hear with with, I would have heard him say, "What? Huh?" One word? If I had to summarize the whole history of my life in a word, it would be Srinagar? And with that mystical word, Srinagar, I'm instantly back down in the attic with my earth body on my straw bed launch pad in the attic. No translations, no redirecting myself, you know, forget the golden thread and all that, the cosmic ocean, and what? The other monks are sleeping on their beds in the pitch black darkness. Well, after this, <laughs> I become obsessed 
and addicted to meditation. Oh, yeah. I spent less time wandering around the hills, playing my flute. Uh, yeah. Tuxay's teachings seem more and more conventional and anachronistic. And compared to my serendipitous nightlife with Earthy, that celestial party. <laughs> getting sucked inside the source of creation and destruction. Oh, like I said before, you like, none of my garments, jewelry, landscapes, symbols, and my out-of-body experiences have any resemblance to Tibetan Buddhism. <laughs> no, none. They are purely universal, interdimensional. <laughs> I become enchanted with my newfound worlds, and so I begin to meditate in the daytime, too. 